Well, this is a pretty funny looking problem. We are given some information about this function g, including values of the function and values of the integral of that function. And we're asked to find value of this funny looking integral down here. And this is really a question of whether or not you can perform an integration by parts problem um, using all of this function notation. So if we look at this integral here, this integral is a product of two functions of x, and that suggests we're supposed to use integration by parts to find it. That means we need to pick a u and a dv from this integral. Whatever we choose for u, it should be something that we can differentiate. And whatever we choose for dv, it should be something that we can integrate. Well, if you understand this notation, then it would make sense to choose u as x, differentiating then gives us dx, and dv would be g prime of x dx. To find v, as always, we need to integrate, and integrating g prime of x is just going to give us g of x. Now we can use the integration by parts formula to rewrite this integral here. We will write down u times v, which is x times g of x, minus the integral of v du, which is g of x times dx. And now since this is a definite integral that we started with, we need to keep our limits of integration, so we'll put those right here and right here. And now look what happened there. This last integral that we're left with was given to us in the original problem. So we know that this value here is negative 9. Let's see what happens when we plug in our upper and lower limits of integration on this first piece. Well, as it turns out, g of 5 here was given to us in the original problem, and g of 1 was given to us as well. So we can plug all of those values into what remains, and we get 5 times negative 8 minus 1 times 1 minus the value that we were given for this integral, which was negative 9, and now evaluating this and adding up all of those numbers, I think is giving me a negative 32 as my final answer. Okay, pretty good stuff. I hope that that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.